Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another episode of Everyday God. And we're continuing our study in the book of Ezekiel. And today's word is actually found in chapter 8, verse 12, which says in the NIV version, He said to me, Son of man, have you seen what the elders of Israel are doing in the darkness, each at the shrine of his own idol? They say, The Lord does not see us. The Lord has forsaken the land. Today's study is simply entitled, God Sees Everything. For a quick context, the chapter is all about God taking Ezekiel in a vision to Jerusalem to witness the idolatry being performed in the Holy Temple. We have three takeaways from this verse. And into our first point is that nothing will be kept hidden from God. In the preceding verses from 7 to 11, it shows that inside the temple, the elders of Israel enter into a secret chamber where the walls are covered with the images of idols, engraved with all kinds of snakes, lizards, and hideous creatures. And those various idols are worshipped by the people of Israel. And he saw the leaders, and they worship these false gods by burning incense to them. They believe that no one can see what they are doing, but God sees it. In the same way, no matter how one tries to hide one's sin, God sees it. And that is why, as believers, we should strive to live a life that is holy and acceptable to God. In Luke 12, 2 of the NIV version, it says, There is nothing concealed that will not be disclosed, or hidden that will not be made known. And we move to our second point, which is the fact that we are blinded by our idolatry. It brings such irony that leaders foolishly these leaders foolishly believe God cannot see them, for they have become as blind as the idol they worship and all the more deceived by it. In this modern time, idols aren't limited to graven objects or which of those are that are crafted by human hands. Idols are actually anything that you give your life to, that you pour every ounce of your energy into in hopes of it bringing you the things you desire in return. Anything you place above God, there are many idols that we struggle with, and many of them creep into our lives without us even realizing it. In turn, we become blinded and we stray away far from God. As honest as we can be, it may come in the form of maybe being obsessed with your identity, um, wealth or money, our jobs, career status, relationships with our friends or with a significant other, our physical appearance, entertainment, uh, influence, attention, social media, technology, uh, material things, and the list goes on. And we put too much value, energy, and hope to these things. The idols that we build in our lives are actually serious offenses against God. And into our last point, uh, which is God exposes sin. We are most of the time guilty of having things done in secret, whether if that's a form of a darling sin or something that we can't easily let go like vices, addictions, or a grave mistake that we don't want other people to know. In these situations, we tend to mask things with religious rituals. But God hears every lie, God sees every disobedience, and God will definitely reveal sin. In Proverbs 28.13 in the NIV version, it says, Whoever conceals their sin does not prosper, but the one who confesses and renounces them finds mercy. No person on earth will be able to plead your case before God, and He is the righteous judge, and He will try you and He will reward you accordingly. Now having said all of this, I will leave you with a question. Are we genuinely worshipping God, or are we blinded by our idols and live a double life? And if we find ourselves on the latter, don't be discouraged. Remember. The same God that sought us and uncovered the sin in our lives is the same God that continues to show that grace whenever we come before Him. Jesus loves showing grace to weak people. As it is said in Romans 5, 6 in the ESV version, For while we were still weak, Christ died to the ungodly. for the ungodly. Our worship towards Him will never be a cosmic religious hide-and-seek game. At church, we worship and gather celebrating because we are found by Him and not to hide anymore. So let's ask ourselves once more, are we aware of the idols in our life? Is there anything that hinders us from truly worshiping the Lord? Let's seek the Lord personally and ask Him to reveal these idols or sin that we have been keeping, whether in secret or in public. 
God's grace abounds when sin abounds in us, but His love calls us to obedience. If you and I truly love Him and are changed by the work of the cross, we will also desire to be obedient. We will kill all the idols and not allow anything to take God's throne in our lives. Thank you all for tuning in, and may you have a blessed day ahead. See you.